okay, okay. shut the game down, I have to. Wait, don't shut the game down. I, I just started. To. Bro, are you serious? Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Omar. Welcome back to another video. Yo, in today's video, I have a special game. I have a game called Stanley the Parable. Stanley the Parable is a fourth wall breaking game. I saw a little clips on it back in the day. Then I just saw today it's on sale and it's the Ultra Edition. So I said, yo, I want to experience this. After playing Jazz Punk, I'm okay with the fourth wall breaking game. So why not do a round two of fourth wall breaking games while playing Stanley the Parable? So, yo, without further ado, let's get into Video. is never the end is never the end is never hmm okay this is the story of a man named Stanley Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he That's was me. employee number 427 427 it feels like fallout 427's job was simple oh what is he it sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. That's me? Bro. Orders came I'm just pushing buttons? A monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. <laughs> okay, to I push. pushed button number one, and pushed button number two. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month. Every of time. Every year. And Bro, what the hell? I'd have considered it so winning. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Bro, I'm just in. Exactly for this job. I would kill myself if this was me, bro. Was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something Which he was called never the Stanley Parable. Forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Nothing. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, hmm. or even say. I wonder what Hi. happened. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Bro, how long have I worked at this company? complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped Oh, okay, I'm, I'm controlling it now. Okay. I stepped out the office. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so... I'm the only room here. Hello, nobody's here. All nobody's here. Workers were gone. Oh my God! What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I'm saying. Stanley went around touching every little thing <laughs> in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, okay, bro. I didn't realize it was like that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so am I supposed to go in there? Wait, what? The meeting room. Okay, so... Bro, there's nobody here? Okay. Meeting room, meeting room. Uh-oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. He said go on the left. But I'm a righty, so we're gonna have to go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Ah, and shut Stanley up, bro. Well, perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I'm actually just going to keep on going. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the detour after all. Just it really is. Just to spend is. a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Bro, because I said Stanley I wanted to check out this room. Here, drinking it all in. I, you know what for that? I will bask in the glory for all this, man. It's the employee lounge. Can I get some soda? What does it say? Cold yes. drinks. Really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> A room so utterly captivating <laughs> that even though all but eager to get back to business, Stanley okay. took the first open door on his left. Um, nah, I'm gonna go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five lie. years ago. Do not lie, you are lying right now. Stop. Bro, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do everything the guy says not to do. Cause like, come on bro, what is this? Penalty? Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Bro, where is I'm this? I'm not your enemy, really I'm not. 
I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. Bro, it's about me. Time. You you want the story to be about me, but then the story. Someone but then you get upset when I'm de uh, derailing the story. Please, so is it about me or is it not about me? By yourself. Now, I'm not asking for it's me, about free thinking, man. For her. I don't care, bro. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who is her? She's been waiting. I got a girl. But who is the girl, though? That's the question. I'm really trying to figure out. Like, who is this person? Okay, am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to go here? Like the guy said, I'm just touching everything up in this piece. Well, what is this? Oh my God. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Can I just leave? I don't think I really want to. Nah, I told you, man, I already got a girl. Like, I don't need, I don't need this, bro. I can see her all day. We can just let this pray. I got my drink, bro. I got my Izzy, Izzy, sponsor boy. Um, can I unplug this? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. <laughs> hope for a life reunited <laughs> one. Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah, bro, I told you no, I got a girl, man. supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> you actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> Yo, I, I got this yeah. whole man story Stanley messed up. Here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes oh. in, fade to white, roll credits. No! Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? <laughs> bro, I, I'm just ahead of the curve, bro. Anything. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I don't wall. understand. Bro. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Bro, did I'm telling you. No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Can't believe what? I had noticed it sooner. Can we just leave? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. <laughs> this is why you'll be able to <laughs> Yo, make correct and incorrect choices. Break, bro, and to think I've been wall. letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored <laughs> even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or bro, it's like he knows that I'm in this game. He knows that to go over Stanley's body. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What are you Please talking observe about? This helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best. <laughs> Bro, part what of am being I working in a real life job? But if used incorrectly, <laughs> can also be the most dangerous. For example, oh. in this scenario, oh, a shut up, real bro. person Come named on. Rupert has a choice. Can we skip this? He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across can the we, world can we skip? to can make we skip? life better for all people. My man made a spider or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does two not plus conform two to rational seven. logic. If you find yeah, yourself I was, I speaking seven. with a person I, I who does close. not make I sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and you know I do that sometimes though. Like, goodness, I let the person talk about that cool. Third, like y'all made either way. I gotta be having go, a back sack and crack. <laughs> Practice. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis First of all, is the best I, part to a healthy decision-making process. No normal person Most will ever put their head inside of an alligator. At least eight choices per day. Eight choices per day. Do you make day. more than eight? Less? Yeah. And finally, no, I, if I you make begin a lot, to wonder if your choices are I'll actually choices. meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember <laughs> that in the Bro, vast they really got me of space, with a tutorial your thoughts on how to be a human. are materially insignificant, and the feelings you know, that is should true. subside. So the whole, time, out to the world, big world, will guide just, you in an exercise to test important. and reinforce the material covered in this video. In a field exercise. Ah, oh, we're well back. back. Oh, see? I have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. 
But not bro, to worry. I didn't mean now to break the fourth wall so bad. I didn't even think you knew making, I was in We're going to revisit game, a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Danger everywhere, everywhere. Bro, he was like so upset. He's trying to get like get through to his story, and I'm over here just fucking around. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm, I have a story to tell. I have a game to like read, bro. <laughs> okay. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative achievement unlocked. You can't just uh, get your first achievement. Okay. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So he uh, he locked the game for me, bro. Like he dead ass locked the game. Okay, so what's happening? Okay, so we're back here now. At first, I was like, yo, bro, what is happening? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Wait, can I go back? Because I want to do every... I said I was going to do every other choice you say, bro. Um, um, I want to see, can we go into any other room? Yo, what if this is like a multiverse uh, thing going on? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That okay. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. No, I'm we don't care about no story. The task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. Ha! You were the door sucker! No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Bro, I'm gonna mess up the game, bro. I'm breaking the game. We are breaking the fourth wall in this game, bro. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, we're still here. No, still going on. Wait, I feel like it's changing every time I come back in here. Let's try two more times. You hear it messing up. Maybe I maybe I gotta stay in here. Okay, so let's stay in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll just be like, I don't know. Maybe, okay, okay, so here we go. Maybe he'll say something because I'm right here. So I just want to see how long it will take him before he says and starts talking shit now. There we go. Let's see. Because you, you hear the game's glitching out already. But he wants Stanley to have a, a long, cohesive story. Umbrella Academy. Nope, I want to see what else is here. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about, that you, <laughs> my story, you've destroyed my work. Okay, Why? okay. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special Meeting about room. seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To yeah. Know that my story is now incorrect. How can I go back to that? Bro, it's okay, man. I can't it's okay. Use that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Get Chris Is it better to out shut the, the game down entirely? To willingly closet. destroy all of my work? I don't know. 
the What's future. The answer? What do I do? Was yesterday, do tomorrow do is now. To... No, I have to. I okay, have to okay. shut the game down. I have to. Wait, don't shut the game down. I, I just started. To... Bro, are you serious? Bro, this man caught a whole fit, man. Bro, what is happening? Clever. Now look where we are. My Bro. entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. I'm so sorry, now, did bro. You think that would be funny. Bro, you this shit cost me twenty bucks to play this game, Didn't bro. Impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley. Okay. He knows how Next to time do we play the game, I will be Stanley. If I said to do I'll do everything. There's a damn good reason for it. Okay. Next time That's I play the game, I will make every choice you want me to do. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. I tell you, I'm grown ass. Oh, I'm a grown ass man, bro. My story. It's a if goddamn just story, bro. You'd be blind. Left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Okay. It would have been so perfect. Well, yo, I we'll play so the game next it. time. I tried so hard. In to its full entirety. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Are you serious? <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ever go back to being right? <laughs> no. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. I officially broke his behave game. exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my Bro, lead. Bro, I'm still fucking with this guy. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On his left, we're still doing right. No! Uh, Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is <laughs> behaving exactly as standard. That means choosing okay, responsibly what was that? What was that? What was that? always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, actually, if no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. I did hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, see? Happy? Happy? The game's not broken, the game's not messed up. Yet there was not a single person here. All right, <laughs> he, he's he so upset now. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, see, now we're actually doing the choices now. See, he locked the door. He's like, bro, you are not messing it up for, for me right now, bro. He's like, you're not. All right, slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Well, there's no employees. And I'm the only player here, so I guess that we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do it for there. Alright. Alright, but we're gonna have to stop right there. But alright, it's your boy Omar. This is in, this has been the Stanley Parable, man. I kinda messed with him a lot, so as you can see, he's very upset with me because I, I was supposed to follow his story, but I told my story because you know why? I'm the main character. Boy's the main character. But alright, it's your boy Omar, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be Stanley the Parable Stanley the Parable Part 2. Alright.